All right, welcome to part one of my Deus Ex Let's Play. Uh, I'm going to be doing a non-lethal run this time, so JC isn't going to kill anyone. This will require a little finagling at certain points, but I'm sure we'll be able to do it. Um, so I've started with low-tech weapons. I used the pistol glitch to get myself a little better, a uh, little more experience. I added some to computer. We won't probably be using it this mission. Uh, what we will be doing is stealthing around the back and skipping most of the level just because it is kind of difficult to subdue all of the NSF non-lethally in this first stage. But um, after I finish the mission, I'll go back around and get some of the secret stuff. All right. Uh, one second. I think I need to adjust the gamma up a little bit. That should be a little Heads better. Up, JC. Your brother Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. Paul, I thought you were in Hong Kong. Welcome to the Coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? Didn't think you'd have a choice. What's going on? The NSF. They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but Unaco better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gep gun, or a mini crossbow. So the sniper rifle is loud. I can't use it right now. It would kill the uh, NSF. And anyway, there's one in the level. The crossbow ain't bad. Uh, you can use tranquilizer darts. They will take down a man in one shot, but it takes a while and it'll sound the alarm and start shooting you and so forth. The Gap Gun is the clear best choice here. You won't get another Gap Gun for several levels. It can be used to open doors and it blows up bots who JC has no problem killing. Never know when I might come up against some heavy armor. Give me the Gap Gun. The Gap Gun might be useful. They have a security bot on patrol near the statue entrance. Great. What's the first move? I'm going to give you a map of the island. If you can get to the North Dock, a UNATCO informant will give you a key to the statue doors. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue. But don't forget about Agent Harriman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. I'm not going to help Gunther. Agent Harriman. NSF everywhere, JC. Your orders are to shoot on sight. A UNATCO informant on the North Dock can get you inside the statue. Look for a bum. Identify yourself with the phrase, iron and copper. You'll notice that uh, that message duplicates what Paul already told me. One of my options here would be to uh, attract this guy's attention and then run back and have the bots and Paul kill him, but I feel that would be outside of the spirit of the run. So right now I just need to wait for him to turn around. We'll get that crate later. If you want to make a covert approach, remember the Academy Stealth Course. Stay out of their field of view, walk slowly to stay quiet, and crouch behind cover. Or if you have to get your hands dirty, remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. So now that we have the baton, we're discarding the crowbar. The baton is just a vastly superior weapon. It's uh, non-lethal though, so it does mean that sometimes it'll take a few more hits to uh, take down a bad guy. Some explosive crates there, you can use them to get up to some pretty crazy stuff. They have a very large explosion radius though, so you do need to be careful. Alright, we need 
to be a little quiet here. Quiet. I think we got cops. You do have cops, I'm afraid. But you'll never see me. Oh yeah. I am playing on realistic combat difficulty, and I don't want to die and lose a bunch of progress, so I'll be saving periodically, but I won't be scumming or anything like that. Let's listen in. When are we going to see some action? That's the difference right there. Just take a look at- I saw somebody. Maybe just a homeless guy. Alright, let's not listen in. Alright, so that's a friendly bot over there, but an unfriendly NSF agent. I am going to be disabling him. There's uh, stuff down there, but I don't need to get it just yet. I'm taking this guy out because I want to be undisturbed when I climb up the back way. And he's got a mini crossbow, which I do want. If he turns around, I'm going to be mad, though. Towards his outside. <laughs> yeah, we don't need this knife, though. Get rid of that. Soundtrack for this game is amazing. Good thinking. You might be able to avoid some of the security by entering this way. In fact, you can avoid nearly all of it. make a lot of noise on pavement like this though, so I will need to be uh, cautious about when I run and when I crouch and walk. Staying close to the wall. Sneak on by to the upper levels of the statue. Alright, so there is a gas grenade on that wall, and if I approach it, it will explode unless I disarm it in time. I was in time. Hot as hell in these masks. Well, uh, not going that way. If you uh, don't collect these grenades by the time that you complete the mission objective, they will be removed from the wall, as I recall. So I'm just going to pick them up now. I forget if there's a fourth one there, but it doesn't really matter that much. These three are sufficient. Crouching like this, you move silently. Shooting? Yeah, we got the whole supply. You can see the ship's lights crossing the bay. Guess y'all were right. So why aren't we pulling out? Mike's on the horn. Jojo wants a lead on the distribution network. Yeah, we don't have enough men to protect what we've got. That's what Jojo wants. I wonder, how does a guy with a tattooed forehead get to be an NSF colonel? Pardon me, but back in Alabama, we wouldn't let a man who wears earrings plan a military operation. Jojo is and also what black. I say about Jojo. He's got a temper. He's a punk, and he's gonna get us all killed. Thanks, racist and guy. You're nearing the command center. Agent Herman remains in captivity on the ground floor, but we can probably get him out. 
Keep moving. It's not actually difficult to free Herman. Some news, JC. The NSF targeted a shipment of the plague vaccine Ambrosia. We can't locate it. See if the leader will surrender when you reach the command post. We'd like to interrogate him. But it is kind of tedious to get around and move the correct way Let's and get disable out of here. the right guys at the I'm same standing. time. Who's there? I think the laws to uh, do it non-lethally. Should have hugged the wall a little All more clear. closely there. Anyway, freeing Gunther is not something I often do on a non-lethal run. It's just a pain in the ass. Whatever, he can handle himself. Easy. We want you to take this yeah, line. Yeah. Thanks, and Alex. Find out. Don't shoot. I surrender. So you think you know better than FEMA what to do with this month's Ambrosia shipment? You're too late. It's on its way back to the people, and you can't do a damn thing about it. Tell me about the shipment, and I'll order the troops to pick you up as a prisoner instead of a corpse. Ask away. We already won this round. Where are you taking it? We're just giving ordinary people the same chance to survive as the bureaucrats in Washington. You'll have to unload New York because the choppers would spot you at sea. I think the government made the plague on purpose to get rid of the population growth. That wasn't a very productive conversation. Well done. I will pass on your orders to the troopers. Report back to base on the west side of the island. Mission complete. Augmentation canister here. This is our first power-up. Just answer the question. Don't believe me? It's all in the numbers. For a hundred years, there's been a conspiracy of plutocrats against ordinary people. You have a single fact to back that up. Number one. In 1945, corporations paid 50% of federal taxes. Now they pay about 5%. Number two, in 1900, 90% of Americans were self-employed. Now it's about 2%. So? It's called consolidation. Strengthen governments and corporations, weaken individuals. With taxes, this can be done imperceptibly over time. Hmm, interesting. I guarantee you that the interrogation staff at UNACO will not be as forbearing as I am. Yeah, the secret police. You're just bullies for a completely illegitimate government in Washington. We will locate that shipment one way or another. The entire executive branch is hand-picked. Nineteen of the last 23 U.S. presidents have been members of the Trilateral Commission. The Trilateral Commission is financed by the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds. Don't tell me. That's a think tank. Anyone can become a member. But not everyone does. That's why they call it the secret government. You can't fight ideas with bullets. I suppose not. The chief finally let us loose. We were right behind you and cut through them like a hot knife through butter. So, this guy is killable. Uh, it's the earliest assault rifle in the game, if you care about that, but I do not. And anyway, I wouldn't want to kill anyone. Alright, so now we're going to climb back down. All of these guys have uh, been looted, so there's nothing more to gain from them. But the inside of the statue has some useful stuff, so let's check that out. That's a poison gas barrel. Really annoying. This camera would be hostile. It's a lamb, a mine, another lockpick, and a little back... back air vent. Multi-tool, check out this little office here. Nothing but some soy food. Ah, account and pin number for an ATM. You know what? We'll celebrate. Now, JC is very drunk, and I don't know how well this will show up on the recording software, but it looks really awful in-game, so, uh... Glad it's gone now.
They sent us in to pick up the pieces. This water fountain is infinite healing if you need it. You shouldn't need it, though. We'll withdraw all of that money. If I didn't have the uh, username and PIN number, I could have hacked it, but at my current level of computer skill, I would have only gotten half the credits. Little way out here. I'll use it. Another lockpick. This is where the robot would be if we hadn't uh, come in the back way. Over there is our next objective, but we'll take a full circuit around the island first. This is locked. Be hard to get in, unless I had some kind of rocket launcher. Money. That guy carries a sniper rifle uh, for a new player who is been fighting against the pistols and crossbows of the NSF troopers, it can be a pretty rude surprise to get one shot by a sniper rifle there. any of that. To be honest, I don't need the plasma pistol anyway. But I can use some more rockets. Why the hell did I come here if no one needs my help? I found a back way into the statue, but I'm sure Unatko appreciates your dedication. I've been standing here for an hour. I'd better get paid for this. You'll have to bring that up with Manderly. That's the guy I would have identified myself with the code phrase iron and copper. Too. What? I'm just waiting for a ride. So, um... You can blow open this hatch with either the uh, Gep Launcher or a LAM. Inside it is the sawed off shotgun, another good early weapon that we would be using if we were using, doing a lethal run. But since we're not, I don't need to go down into the boat. blow up that bot with one shot from the rocket launcher, but there would be no reason to. Grab this hazmat suit, protects me from uh, poison gas, and I think electrical shock? Definitely the gas, though. Grab this crate. Put the crate there. Put a second crate on top of it. And in true 90s adventure game fashion, jump up my stack of crates to get where I need to go. Two hundred and fifty skill point exploration bonus for that. Battle. Battle. 
So this, uh, this little zone right here is actually a perfect example of the thing that makes Deus Ex such a really replayable and enduring classic. Um, all you've got here is a little machine with arcs of electricity coming off it, but you have many ways that you could approach this problem. You could have disabled the panel on that box to shut the generator off, you could have simply run through and taken the damage, you can stack some crates, or you could do a little game where you like make the forklift move up and run across and jump off the arms as it reaches the correct height. Anyway, there were many different approaches to the same situation, what some people call SSMA, same situation, multiple approach, and Deus Ex is full of it. And in a way that later games, more recent games, have tried to emulate, but often comes off feeling forced. Human Revolution did a really good job of uh, level design to make it seem natural that you had many ways to approach the same problem, but uh, I don't know, beyond Human Revolution and maybe Deep Deadly Shadows, there weren't a lot of games that really gave you the same high quality SSMA as Deus Ex did. All right, we are heading back towards the area that we started in because there are still a couple of things to pick up there. That crate up on the uh, ledges there. Don't worry didn't. about the bodies. We'll handle them. Thank you for handling the cleanup. If you need healing during the mission, with only a single lockpick, you can open up this little door here and find a metabot, but we didn't need any. There we go. And trying to grab it. There. I could have just, like, stacked the crate and jumped up there, but I figured this way would be easier. Well, you know. And pick up the riot prod charger. Let's see, we're up to like a total of maybe 10 or 11 shots with it. That's not bad, but you know, sometimes things get rough. code here is 0451, the temperature at which books burn, and also the first password in System Shock, a previous game by the same development team. SATCOM UNATCO 001. Passwords in this game are not case sensitive. Little med kit. And an EMP grenade, which will disable robots, uh, security sensors, cameras, and uh, those little electrical fields. We've got the island secured. How did things look in the statue? The leader surrendered. So they were after Ambrosia. A month's supply for the East Coast. We think they've taken it back to the city. I didn't know UNATCO handled the Ambrosia distribution. Manderley will brief us shortly. UNACO makes sure the limited supply of vaccine gets to government agencies and key industries. It's good to finally see some action. Just keep a level head. You're doing well so far. Now get inside. I'll meet you in Manderley's office, level two. Paul does not say that you're doing well so far if you kill a bunch of people. Um, all right, so this was the end of the first tutorial level. Really an excellent tutorial, all things considered. Uh, when we come back, we will... Go inside the UNACO office, talk to our boss, get our assignments for the next mission. Thank you for watching.